Cinque Terre. Wonderful land, wonderful land. I've enjoyed it today. Uh, so I want to give you some tips uh, from my current experience. Non so dove nascondermi, <laughs> c'è gente da devo venire a gennaio. <laughs> basically telling them that I don't know where to hide anymore because it's full of people so if you need a moment like this a bit private you kind of struggle because obviously people are everywhere in terms of food in uh, Porto Venere, Vernazza, Manarola you find any kind of food uh, decently priced I mean you find the expensive one you find the cheap one um, Italian food obviously pizzas, paninis, pasta well, I've noticed in Rio Maggiore instead, they have everything based on fish. Like you have all the, this tiny, lots of shops with fried uh, seafood. So that's kind of, I think, traditional for Rio Maggiore. So if you will go there, you will see every five meters a shop selling fried seafood. And I kind of liked that. Rio Maggior is the most southern village of the Cinque Terre, situated just a few minutes by train from La Spezia. The origins of Rio Maggiore date back to the 8th century, when the inhabitants of Vara Valley, searching for milder climate to raise grape wines and olive trees without the fear of pirate raids, moved towards the coast. Also, Rio Maggiore is the town that's most featured in Instagram. Cinque Terre villages are linked by a network of paths offering the best opportunity to truly enjoy the unique landscape. I came here with the boat, 35 euros, you can just stop and then keep going and then stop and you know just like that and I will go back with the train uh, the train I think it's 16 euros a day and uh, you would take it from La Spezia uh, so you would go with the train from wherever you are to La Spezia in La Spezia you would decide if you want to take a boat or if you want to take the train or you can combine them like I do so I came with the boat and I did all day with the boat and now I'll take a train from Manarola and go straight to Florence so obviously because the boat ends at 5 35 and 10 minutes I think is the last one that would take you back to La Spezia so obviously it's too early so I would I will take the train I expected the boat to be like until 8 or 9 p.m. instead they end at before 6 basically so if you want to stay here like myself in Manarola after 6 p.m. you need to go back with the train if you just want to take one ticket one stop with the train it's four euros let's say you want to go from Vernazza to Manarola it's four euros the small fishing village Vernazza is probably the most characteristic of the Cinque Terre and is classified as one of the most beautiful villages in Italy. Vernazza was founded about 1000 AD and was ruled by the Republic of Genoa starting in 1276. The medieval castle Belforte was built in the mid-1500s primarily to protect the village from pirates. The waterfront is framed by the small Ligurian Gothic church, built on a small seafront promontory in 1318 on the site of an 11th century Romanesque building. The church is called Santa Margherita d'Antiochia. According to legend, 
The church was constructed here after a box containing the bones of Saint Margaret washed up on a nearby beach. It is notable for its unusual 40 meters tall octagonal tower topped with a dome. In terms of how long you should stay, well, um, there are five villages, you know, Cinque Terre plus Porto Venere, so I would say even two, three days, you know, at least. Like I did all this in one day, like day trip, Manarola, Vernazza, Rio Maggiore, Porto Venere, and trust me, I was constantly on the run. So I wouldn't recommend it in, uh, to do it in one day, at least, at least two. But to be honest, I would kind of probably do it in three or four. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Luckily nowadays nobody's kind of shocked about it because we all kind of do it. So. <laughs> Bye. 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 Manarola, built on a high rock 70 meters above the sea level, is one of the most charming and romantic of the Cinque Terre villages. The tiny harbour features a boat ramp, picturesque multicoloured houses facing the sea, a tiny piazza with seafood restaurants. Along the main road, the boats are pulled onto dry land every time the sea is rough. Although there is no real beach here, it has some of the best deep water swimming around. The village is all ups and downs with steep narrow alleys leading to the sea. If you want to venture up to the top of Manarola, make sure you check out the church. Today it serves as a religious and community meeting place, but in more ancient times the bell tower was used as a post to watch for potential pirate raids.
Before going to Cinque Terre, I wasn't sure which of the villages to choose for sunset watching. And then I decided that I will be watching the sunset from Manarola. And I don't regret that because the sunset I've seen in Manarola was one of the most beautiful and romantic sunsets ever. 